My name is Dr. Tom Pepper. I'm the medical director of Talbot Hall, a drug and alcohol treatment program in Columbus, Ohio at The Ohio State University. I've noticed when we talk about alcohol, a lot of people are confused by the terminology. We talk about a bottle of booze, but how much is a bottle? And how much booze is in a bottle? So one of the things I thought we'd do in this talk is get the idea that a bottle of booze is a confusing term, but it usually equals a fifth. And a fifth means a fifth of a gallon. So when somebody is talking about a fifth, we're really talking about five bottles make a gallon. So how much alcohol is actually in a fifth? Can't tell. We do know that there are 750 milliliters in a fifth. But how much alcohol is actually in there? Because that fifth could be wine, that fifth could be tequila. So that's where the term proof comes from. And proof equals a percentage, and that gives us a much better idea of how potent the alcohol is. So if a bottle of wine is 25 proof, it means it has 12.5% alcohol in it. If a bottle of vodka is 100 proof, it means it has 50% alcohol in it. So you can see that a bottle of wine at 25 proof is about one quarter as strong as a bottle of vodka at 100 proof. So if you drank one bottle of vodka, that would be the equivalent of four bottles of wine. That term is interesting with proof. There used to be a uh, way of determining how much alcohol was actually in a bottle by mixing it with gunpowder and at approximately 50% it would explode, and so 50% meant 100% proof. So it was proof positive that that's what we were dealing with. So the alcohol content is measured in percent alcohol as evidenced by the term proof. One drink is a confusing term too. How much is a drink? Well, a drink of beer may be 12 ounces, a drink of wine may be six ounces, a drink of scotch, maybe one and a half ounces. That's called a jigger. And they all contain about the same amount of alcohol because the proof of each of those is different. And each one of those drinks has approximately 15 grams of alcohol. So if you were to drink one can of beer, that would be about the same as drinking one glass of wine or drinking one shot of scotch, plus or minus. Interestingly enough, it takes about one hour for the body to remove 15 grams of ethanol. So in the course of one hour, we remove one drink. So if you go to a party and drink one drink per hour, you will never get in trouble with the uh, policeman waiting down the road pull you over for a DUI. Appreciate the opportunity to talk about this a little bit. We'll talk about this more.